you, Rabbi, from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. So I don't think it's escaped many, well, many people watching this channel, anyway, many people's attention, uh, uh, that, yeah, the current era of Doctor Who, the Chris General Jodie Whittaker era, uh, uh, isn't very good. <laughs> isn't very good in any way, shape, or form. I mean, is it worse or better than Star Trek Discovery, or now we have a new contender, uh, uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power? And I just saw the first two episodes. Uh, over. I saw one on Friday, then Sabbath came in, and then I sat out recording the Sunday morning. Uh, 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 is it worse than that? I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's so bad. It's so unbelievably bad. It's about on the same level. I mean... You know, it's incredible, isn't it? That people go, oh, the reason you don't like it, you don't hate the show. You just hate women. Now, wh wh why would I hate women? I don't understand why I... I mean, you, you do understand I'm heterosexual and like having sex with women a lot. Like, I like it a lot. Now, I've got to be clear now for the harder thinking out there. Uh, 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 I'm married. I've been married for many years. And the only person that I do sleep with uh, uh, is my good lady wife. Thank you very much. I, uh, I made a joke about a couple of years ago about wanting to bang Victoria. Yeah, Victoria Waterfield. Uh, um, which I think is still quite a sane attitude to have. People lost it. They're like, oh my God, she's a 14. No, she's not. No, she's not. So I make lots of sexual dirty jokes. And yes, I am, generally speaking, reasonably horny all the time. Okay, that's just my uh, uh, my cross I have to bear, which is a strange thing for a rabbi to say. But anyway, uh, 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 yeah. I. Uh, but it still <laughs> doesn't mean I, I, I act upon that. that. That would be bad. Anyway, I digress. I digress. Uh, uh, we've all noticed it's reasonably bad. Now, one, it's very hard to talk about different aspects of it being bad because so much of it is so freaking bad, right? So much of it is awful. So that's why I have a lot of videos because I like I need to go over each and every little uh, 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 you know dot <laughs> no, I'm gonna cry over, over, where they crossed every T and every dot over the eye. It's all awful. So the thing we're talking about today is something that I noticed in the uh, Eve of the Dalek. Uh, uh, that you had Daleks uh, um, that couldn't open a door, like couldn't shoot their way through a uh, uh, a lock up door. It was so weird. It's such a bizarre. I mean, look, I people make just stupid decisions in writing all the time. On uh, um, <laughs> oh god, okay, my brain is still reeling with this, right? Uh, at the end of the first episode of Rings of Power, uh, you you had uh, um, a bunch of elves going off to I don't know the heavenly thing where they go. I see. I I, I don't even know about Lord of the Rings, but above and beyond the movies, I think mean, I read the books when I was a kid, you know. But I don't really know about the law. I still know it's awful. But anyway, they're going. They're going to uh, uh, their glorious heavenly thing, and it starts out. And they're on a boat in the middle of like the ocean, right? And they all just stand there, entire row, like holding their swords, very dramatic. Oh, 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 all very dramatic. And then, and then the the the, the chief one, the uh, um, the 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 Lady Mary of Sue, uh, who is the main character in it, and it's awful, right? It's just awful. Oh my god, relentlessly awful. She decides, oh no, no, I can't go to Valhalla or wherever it is. Uh, and she jumps off the boat in the middle of the ocean, right? And she's like, I'll just swim home. I, why do you take a boat then if you can just swim? I don't understand. It's just a dumb, dumb idea. That's what, that's what bad writing is, right? That's what bad writing looks like. Same with this. The Daleks couldn't get through a storage room door. And they go, pew, 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 flying like that. My my solution of it was they are uh, you know mentally handicapped Daleks that were told they're they're complete real Daleks. You know I I base this on on the Israeli military. Right, I love the Israeli army. Uh, uh, my my um, well I love them because they keep me alive. That's one one big thing right there. But I also love them because. Uh, it, and you don't really know this until uh, unless you move to Israel. It's a very cultural thing because we have conscription because we all have to go with the army because otherwise we'll get bloody killed. I just want to like you know uh, underscore that that little idea. Um, so, but it it it's a very very inclusive organization. Like there's a room for everybody in it. 
and there's this uh, Down syndrome uh, 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 unit, and it's just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, right? Just making everybody feel like they're worthwhile and they have something to contribute, because everybody is worthwhile, and everybody does have something to contribute. That's, I freaking love that, right? I absolutely love that. So I thought that these these Daleks and Eva the Dalek were the same thing. These are like, you know, the genetic... I don't know, if the, of course, if they were not genetically pure, they would be they would be bumped off. I don't understand, okay? Let's just say they are some kind of... Uh, 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 mentally retarded Daleks. That, that was their execute. That's what they called the Destructor Squad or the Execute. Whatever they were called. I can't remember. Like, how? How, does, how, did, how do you put this together? How do you have Gladriel? Uh, I love the way they keep saying a name like it's important. Uh, uh, just jump in the ocean and like, oh, I'm going to swim out. What the hell? You're going to die. <laughs> Like, uh, how would you make these stupid decisions? Because you're a moron who shouldn't be writing. That That's how, right? Uh, um, but Screen Rant, bless them, bless them. They've come up with some another answer for us, which I haven't read, but boy, am I going to rip the shit out of it as I do. <laughs> so before we get there, like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things. Are, oh, fan dabby, triple dozy. This one seems like it's going to be uh, uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't like this, subscribe, comment. Uh, my, subscri my subscription did well for a day or so, then YouTube went, what the hell? What the hell? This garbage person, this deplorable, can't have more people watching him or listening to him or whatever they do. Uh, um, so yeah, they, 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 they strangled my channel again. Uh, if you can, if you haven't hit subscribe, if you could, I'm like five away. I was like two away. Now I'm like five away from 3,500. I do think that's some kind of benchmark I got to punch through. Uh, uh, when I say I've got to, uh, uh, can you do that for me? That'd be very, very nice. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very nice. I'm very, very grateful for you all doing all those things. C certainly subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please, if you can cons consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, uh, uh, can you make sure you're still subscribed? Because they will whip you out of uh, my subscription away. Whoa, before you can blink. So like, share, subscribe, comment. Sign up my sub stack. My sub stack did quite well last week. I did, uh, I sent out the, quite, quite a lot of good stuff. I think this week. I think this week uh, I'm going to send this out. Well, 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 not this literally, right? So what is this issue of Doctor Who Weekly from, what was it, no, uh, December, my guess is 1980, right? What, what, what is in here? This is uh, one of Alan Moore's first strips. I love Alan Moore as well. Uh, Doctor Who strips, which will, I will be, be serialising. I think I'm going to uh, uh, start putting it out this week. Also, what about, I, what about New Adventures or Missing Adventures? That, again, that, that out of print on Fridays. What was what, what we did last time? I can't remember. I can't remember. I was like, oh, I haven't thought of that one for a while. I'll put that one out. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that, if, you, if you like that sort of stuff, also I put an old, like, Doctor Who magazine ads and things like that. I like that stuff. What can I tell you? Uh, it's all free as well. I, I, honestly, this is the trouble with the Jew trying to communicate to non-Jews. When you say to a Jew, oh, it's all free, like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, why are there Ten Commandments? Because God, God went to the Jews, uh, uh, you know, I have these commandments for you. We said, how much are they? They said, he, God said free, right? Well, they, I guess, God said free. Yeah, free. We said, we'll take 10, baby. <laughs> it's actually the 613 in the Old Testament. But, you know, who's counting? I mean, I am counting, obviously, with that. Okay, right, like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very good things. I know my sub stacks. I know my pay sub stack. Uh, uh, I think this month, I think this month we're going to start uh, um, putting out this thing, uh, the Imperium, a love letter to Telefancy of the 1960s. Uh, uh, freaking awesome. Great artwork by Dominic Ratchet. Also, now I got my com I got a working computer, which is so good. Oh, I, forgot. I didn't realize how awful it was not having one. I really I had this idea of doing digital art, right? People can put as their like, uh, screensavers on phones and stuff. Not NFTs, okay? I got interested in digital art when I started researching NFTs. I thought, oh, that's cool. I, I quite like that. That's very cool. Not NFTs, okay? Yes, I get it. It's a it's a it's a con of some sort. Not sure which, but who knows. Can anybody answer me, by the way? Complete aside. Uh, um, all this money they're sending to Ukraine. I, heard, I read that Boris Johnson stopped a peace deal in, in April, right? Really? That's so stupid. All this money they're sending must be ending up back in these politicians' pockets. Can somebody tell me how, right? Because nothing else makes any sense. Well, I guess it makes as much sense as Dalek can't shoot through a door, really. Is that a special Dalekanian door? No. Made the tin, really? Okay, okay. Fine, like, share, subscribe, comment, substack, all those things are very good. Let's look at this article. Doink. Uh, why Doctor Who Daleks are such bad shots? Well, they weren't, really. 
I mean, do you, do you remember Remembrance of the Daleks? If you don't, I feel bad for you because it's freaking awesome, right? That's the first time you saw a Daleks eye view, like, and he like, as they fought, as they shot a uh, a squaddy in the pre-unit, pre-countermeasure, um, what's it called, counterinsurgent insurgent group, uh, led by group Captain Chunky Gilmore. By the way, Professor Rachel Jensen, also Jewish apparently, I did not know, is it Rachel Jensen? Is Jewish? I don't know. They mentioned that in the novelization, which I quite liked, right? Uh, there was the other one as well. There was a blonde one and the old one, and Pamela Salem, right? Pamela Salem, her character was Jewish. So I, I just like that. Uh, 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 like, uh, um, I'm just going to say like, share, subscribe, and comment. That's, that, that's what I do when my, my brain stops for a second. Ah, like, share, subscribe. Uh, um, Tell you remember, again, no, Remembrance of the Daleks. You see the Daleks' point of view as he shoots the guy uh, uh, and he turns to a skeleton as he gets whacked back into the van. Oh, man, that was freaking... Even, even with the screwed-up special effects on the first transmission where they didn't actually put the gunshot coming out, you're like, whoa, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Because up until then, that was the coolest thing we've ever seen. Freaking awesome. Right? Absolutely awesome. Uh, 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 so they used to be pretty darn good shots. And then Chris Chibnall came along and said, I, I don't think they had to work this. I don't think they had to do it very well. I mean, look. Why are they so shit under in the Jodie Whittaker years? Because Jodie Whittaker's got to beat them. Right? It's like, <laughs> how do you get? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's why she had a mentally retarded, uh, um, mentally handicapped Dalek score trying to come and get her. You know, you know, I guess the Daleks have some sportingness. They're going to get, like, the uh, uh, the uh, mentally handicapped Daleks to go off the mentally handicapped Doctor, which kind of would make sense, wouldn't it? It would kind of make sense. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Let's have a look. Why Doctor Who's Dalek was not such a bad thing? They're not, Shocks. For, a war, for such a warlike people, the Daleks have incredibly poor marks, marksmanship. No, no, you're full of shit, no. Uh, they prefer to make up for accuracy with brute force and strength in numbers. No, this is just absolute nonsense. Did you ever see Dalek, you know, the, the 2005 episode? Yeah, one the great. I love the trailer with that. Christopher Eccleston. He said, "Yeah, where are we here? Utah. How many people are there? Uh, six million. All dead." <laughs> Yo, they were great, right? They were great. And then Chris Chibnall came along and like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, and I, got, I, I just want to also point out I, the gun looked kind of cool. The, the Gatling gun, gun, even though it can't shoot through a door, looked kind of cool. But I hate the uh, the the sink plunger replacement. It, it, it and, and look, this is where just my mind goes. It looks like a gay uh, a rectal toy, right? You you would you would assume you know, uh, 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 some some homosexual gentleman with his uh, uh, life partner shoving up each other's ass, right? You would have you would imagine that. Well, at least you would if you me. Uh, on, why? Because it makes me giggle. <laughs> That's, that's why I do most things, because it makes me giggle, right? Uh, why'd you do that? Make me giggle. Um, fortunately, the Doctor and the Commanders, while, uh, for the Doctor and Commanders, while the Daleks are in Doctor Who, uh, love shooting people, they're not very good at actually hitting anyone. They aim at... Have you ever seen Doctor Who, bloody moron? Uh, uh, the Daleks take great delight in exterminating their enemies, and... Uh, as far as they're concerned, everyone is their enemy. Okay, fine. You said one thing about Daleks I agree with. But Daleks have one big problem that seems to cause them a great deal of trouble. Amongst the oldest and most enduring villains of the entire Doctor Who fra franchise, each Dalek is a creature inside its own personal tank, complete with artillery. Yeah, fantastic idea, right? It was it was really cutting edge, mutated that way because of like nuclear science, all these things that were really cool in the early 60s. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, look, how many... It was... Uh, under 20 years since since uh, Hiroshima. It'll be like 18 years since Hiroshima. So we're in 2022 now. That makes So what happened in... That's 2004, right? 2004 doesn't seem that long ago. Well, if you're me, it doesn't seem, seem, seem that long ago, does it? 2004, uh, Friends had already finished, hasn't it? I mean, 2004 seems relatively recent. So it was very much in, you know, the nationals, uh, uh, national psyche to have, like, you know, mutated things because of nuclear science. Um... Well, uh, while their standard fittings are a gun stick and a manipulator, I'm saying plunger. Uh, although, 
Although I did love a, a Dalek, right? The, it, Rusty David did a lot to dispel all the old uh, uh, things people took the piss out of Doctor Who of. That Dalek sucking that guy's face off was freaking awesome. Love that. Uh, um, well, there's... Uh, oh, also, in, was it the next year when they came back? Yeah, it was the next year, I think, when they had uh, when they read What's the Name's Mine from EastEnders. Yeah, the, was it Saeed? Or was it Saeed's brother? I remember, okay, the reason I remember uh, uh, Masood, right? That's the name of the family. The reason I, I, I remember them is because they had this whole storyline where uh, this Muslim guy married a super hot, who was a pretty hot, hot guy himself, who married this super hot woman, right? And pretending to be straight, even though he was very, very gay. Uh, um, and then you saw his kind of struggle of trying to have a marriage and trying to, like, trying to have sex, right? You saw him trying to, like, picture, I don't know, Whatever turns you on, like arse, <laughs> men's arse, as he tried to have sex with his wife. Now, you know, so I asked my wife at the time, or oh, a little bit later, said, listen, so let's say, let's say you're, because we're, we're they, they were religious, right? So we're, we're religious Jewish, I may, may I mention that. Uh, uh, so I said to my wife, you know, let's say you, you, you get married, right? You get married, uh, and your husband is a, is a good husband, does it? You have a couple of kids, is, uh, uh, does his husbandly things, whatever he's supposed to do. Uh, but he then, you know, a few years in, you got a couple of kids, right? And he says to you, uh, look, Oh, I I am gay. Well, sort of gay. I I have uh, gay desires and tendencies. That that uh, that's. Uh, but I don't really. Well, I've never acted on them, and I know I don't want to. Uh, well, I do want to. I want to have a normative marriage because I'm religious, right? And that's a whatever. Okay, that's a. But I need some help in the bedroom, right? Could you be a bit more, I don't know, manly? I don't know, put put a finger up my ass, that sort of thing. Do you understand? I I don't go. So, nobody's ever asked me to do if they want to do that, and I'm really glad because I don't think I would be into. I mean, I guess I would, if uh, um, you know, if your spouse wanted to do. But anyway, anyway, so I asked my wife, like, saying, so yeah, you know, what, what would would you what would you do? He said, I would divorce that guy in a bloody second. <laughs> I'm like, really, really? Oh, can you be a bit more compassionate? No, no. Okay, so don't don't mess with my wife. Apparently, no, oh, don't. Okay, don't marry my wife pretending to be straight when you're really gay. Okay. I, as we're married, I, I think we're all cool, right? I, th I think everything's okay. Um, fine. So, <laughs> what are we up to? Yeah, the, we're talking about the the, uh, uh, the sink plunger, uh, uh, sucking the information out of whatever his name's head was in Doomsday, I think. Uh, um, uh, and two Dalek, uh, the two uh, the two weapon slots. In a Dalek's armor, I need to change them. Going to be swapped for whatever weapons they need. No, I mean it's kind of cool when they did that. You know, they changed it out to a flamethrower or a gun, right? And uh, what was that? Not it was the death of the Daleks, right? Secondary weapon, <laughs> that one. Uh, um, uh, they're going to be swapped out. Uh, first conceived it, 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 for whatever they need. First conceived, by the way, what, can I see it? Fine, let me pull out one of these Daleks from my... Can I reach it? Oh, come here, come here, come here. You can get it, you can... Uh, here it comes. Fine, this redesigned the Dalek, which was gen genuinely hated, right? I think it looked quite good as a model, right? Or on as a comic book, whatever, but I think on screen it looked awful. It, it, it didn't work. But I kind of always... I always wanted to see this thing open up and like... Giant like uh, um, special weapon Daleks armory come out, right? I also, I also don't really. I kind of like, do. I like the uh, uh, the eye stalk with the eye in it, with the organic eye in it. I think it's a bit too big, right? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, we're, 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 we're back to uh, first game in World War Two. While still fresh in the minds of the audience, the writers, uh, uh, audience and writers alike, Daleks aim to exter exterminate all other life forms in the all other life in the universe. Because of the excess, uh, obsession with purity and conformity. Really? Really? I mean, the Twitterati really do like their uh, uh, purity and conformity, don't they? Because they're freaking weirdos. Um, uh, Daleks like aim to exterminate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, believing themselves to be inherently superior. In, uh, uh, interestingly enough, though, while... Um, uh, it's a common uh, fi uh, fiction. It's common for fictional villains to have stormtrooper aim while uh, when trying to shoot the heroes. This trope makes uh, uh, makes sense for the Daleks. Why? That doesn't exist, right? I mean, really, I've never. I don't remember Daleks not being able to hit anything. 
I mean, I'm talking about cl- we're talking pre chibnall not even the classic. I don't, re- I don't remember that as being like just awful shots. I like, stormtroopers, sure. I mean, but I don't remember that at all. With only one eye and no desperation, this gives them a disadvantage. Oh god, this is so dumb. I'm assuming they have some other sensory perception, right? Wait, wait, what are the aren't the Dalek balls? Who are <laughs> uh, their eth- eth- etheric ba- beam locators? Like, aren't the, uh, don't they get their depth perception and from other things other than sight? Uh, I mean, also they only see in, in one color. They, they, the Daleks only see in green screen. Uh, or no, blue screen now. It's uh, in, the, in the modern era. This gives them the disadvantage of trying to aim their weapon among, uh, especially at moving targets. They they uh, may like to shout and rave about Daleks are supreme, right? But they uh, their marksmanship. Uh, uh, this does not ring true. So always in my in my, in my head cannon. Right? I I I. I <laughs> Again, this is my damage disease head cannon we're talking about. I've always uh, uh, kind of thought the Daleks, when they fire their gun, is kind of a uh, um, ecstatic. It's basically like like like, like them ejaculating, right? It, 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 it's like them coming, which is why they like to do it a lot, uh, right? Exterminate! Well, they don't have sex. At least I don't think. I mean, uh, uh, and I think you know, the exterminate, exterminate is kind of is similar to oh oh my god i'm coming kind of like that that sort of thing but i can't I think it also gets them you know in the mood uh um <laughs> so my game my head is so much better than whoever wrote this uh uh i'm particularly bad at hit uh, uh perhaps uh particularly bad at hit wait, 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 did i miss that uh but there's naturally oh direct i but in terms of marksmanship this does not ring true canonically their armor includes targeting computers to help the aim. yes but this is naturally has the same problem as a camera using autofocus here on Earth. Mostly reliable, but take well if it's mostly reliable, they'll they'll have a better aim, wouldn't they? But they do have a good aim. But taking a, a moment before uh, before it works effectively, perhaps this is why the Doctor Who's Daleks are particularly bad at hitting though uh, uh, those who are already trying to flee. It's like it's likely that any time they do so. It's largely down to luck. Evidently, this is... They're the supreme bloody war mongers of the universe. For God's sake. They're like, oh, we, we, we just hit them out of luck. Stop it. It's so stupid. I mean, like one thing, if you're talking about the Vardens, or the Daleks, shut up. Uh, evidently, this is a difficulty that even a super advanced alien species cannot work around. Yes, they can. But it's obviously... And problem that somebody who's never really seen Doctor Who can really work around. Because they're a moron! Why the Daleks are still a major threat in Doctor Who? Well, they're fighting Jodie Whittaker, who is, let me, let's be clear, you know, uh, 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 not the brightest spark amongst the Time Lords, or indeed the Doctor, right? I, I do think the other Doctors just... If she's canonical, which I doubt, I think the other Doctors go around cleaning up her messes all the time. Because she's useless, right? Again, absolutely useless. Um, biologically speaking, this actually goes a little deeper. Uh, uh, many creatures on Earth have two eyes, which give them an inherent understanding of depth. Humans, uh, even those with visually impaired or uh, neurologically wired to intuitively, uh, are neurologically uh, wired to understand depth. So what, you think Davros didn't say, oh, I'm going to put that in? No! Depth perception? Who needs that? to fire a gun that I'm wiring into you. It's just so... I mean, like, really, this is so dumb. How dumb is it? It's as dumb as not having a, a Dalek being able to open the door, right? That's that's how dumb it is. Very, very dumb. Um, uh, this is why, even when I'm using one eye, humans can gauge uh, distance accurately. Daleks, on the other hand, would have no understanding of depth perception. Use their f- physiology. This is so stupid. My Daleks coming uh, uh, to fire is so much better than le- the- their one-eyed willy Daleks. Um, Daleks, on the other hand, have no uncertain <laughs> perception due to their physiology. It's very likely the concept doesn't exist in a Dalek brain any more than uh, humans can. So how do they hit everything? How do they become a, a universe-conquering thing? Uh, other uh, Any more than a, a human can understand... 
what it'll be like to have four arms. Well, I could understand that. <laughs> I can I can very much understand that. That sounds like something I would like to try. Uh, uh, I'm not saying for you know nefarious uh, uh, erotic purposes, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay, with each Dalek spaceship as powerful as a Death Star from Star Wars. What? Okay, Daleks are clearly not subtle creatures. Uh, uh, well, clearly not subtle creatures. They are. Uh, they very likely don't care that they had tear away because they uh, the excuse to keep shooting. The execution of Daleks takes this even further with their machine-like uh, heavy, uh, uh, heavy repeating blasters. What Daleks lack in weapon skill, they make up in sheer brute force, backed up by intimidation and strength of numbers. There were three of them, I believe, and they couldn't open a fucking door. I, I want to be clear. They couldn't blast through a bloody door. Oh, man. What you lack for in, in uh, 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 knowledge of Doctor Who, you do not make up for intelligence. <laughs> the person who wrote this article. Who wrote this? <laughs> who was the name of the person? Uh, named and Shame by Zan uh, Idio. What else, what else has Zan written? Let's have, let's, let's have a let's have a little wander through uh, uh, Zan Idio's worldview. For love and thunder, will Valkyrie be? Uh, will Valkyrie be? Who will be Valkyrie's queen? Who cares? Uh, why the Witcher revealed the White Flame's identity so early? Okay, okay nothing of any interest whatsoever. Batman's future. Setup shows DCU how it's done. Really? Have you seen the Batman? God, boring. But okay, play. Uh, um, uh, what's it called again? Batman begins at half speed with the lights turned half down. Okay, that's basically uh, the Batman. And if you can, like, do do some kind of like Photoshop thing to uh, make Commissioner Gordon black uh, and boring, uh, 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 do that too. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright's a great actor. Boy, was he crap in that. Having said that, though, I I love Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White. I thought he was freaking awesome. Uh, the execution of Daleks take uh, uh take blah blah blah. blah. Uh, their weapons have been uh, shown to be devastatingly powerful. They couldn't get through a door. Uh, devastatingly powerful, except when backed up against mediocre tin. Um, and their armor plating and energy shielding makes them almost completely invulnerable to weapons. Aim for the eye stalk, you bloody idiot! Again, group Captain Gilmore could take one. Oh God, it's so stupid. Uh, 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 for the um, uh, for most beings, there encounter there might they they might encounter humans and otherwise. The the only option uh, when encountering a dark is run. Well, uh, not if you're uh, uh, what's his name again, Dan. Who just kind of like kept sidestepping around them? It was just so silly. Uh, uh, Ron, uh, consi uh, considering how sadistic Daleks are, they probably enjoy watching their enemies flee in terror. Again, not not even the Dalek ones. They're too stupid, right? The most iconic Dalek villain, uh, I I iconic villains of Doctor Who Daleks are the arch nemesis of the Doctor and the Time Lords. Uh, the fact that humans are naturally better at aiming weapons may provide little comfort, but doesn't make the word exterminate any less intimidating. I mean, you didn't even ask your question. Why are they still powerful with it? I don't understand. Uh, over the years, we've seen many variations of redesign the evolution. It all seems like the uh, the Doctor and Daleks and Doctor Who will always keep regenerating into new forms. Well, hopefully they'll regenerate into a watchable form next time. So uh, um, that was idi just idiocy beyond idiocy. Uh, talking about either the Daleks. So either Daleks, one of their great unanswered questions was, why can't a Dalek open a door, right? This article said it was going to answer it. It didn't, right? So let's look at some of the other uh, unanswered questions. We have about Ear of the Dalek. Um, ten huge questions after the New Year special. Fine. So we've, we've had uh, uh, Legend of the Sea Devils. Uh, since then, so maybe uh, 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 they they ask some of the questions. Fine, I'm not I'm not even bothering with the preamble. Well, maybe we'll. Uh, the old go to favorite based on the sea story was bound to get a, a run without filming. Uh, still heavily impacted work by the pandemic. It's also the budget, right? They, they, it doesn't matter. Fine. Was that based on the siege? Not really. I don't think I wouldn't call either, either of the like based on the siege. There was a time loop. It was different, right? It was based on the siege and the. 
the, the, they got crushed over and over again by the invaders. Uh, why did the TARDIS need another reboot? Nobody explained that, right? Nobody explained that why the TARDIS was breaking down in Doctor Who flux. Why was the TARDIS experiencing a diarrhea flux of itself? We don't know. In, uh, in Village of the Angels, the Doctor was forced to trigger a reboot of the TARDIS in order to expel the Weeping Angels from the ship. No, it was also falling apart. I forgot. Who cares? She told Yaz and Dan it will take some time for the TARDIS to complete the process. By the end uh, of the Vanquishers, the time machine was finally working in, but still appeared to be damaged by the flux. I always wonder what I feel like. What's that, Doctor? The end of the universe! Oh, if you thought. Uh, so when the Doctor uh, says the TARDIS needs to be rebooted, that's uh, that it's odd to mention. It's odd there's no mention of the previous attempt. It feels like a clumsy bit, bit of repetition, uh, as if the reboot never happened. Let's assume uh, it isn't a scripting error. It is a scripting error, uh, in which in which case uh, the fact that they need multiple reboots is significant. I was don't try and read meaning into this blithering nonsense. What the hell? It's not significant. It's, it's significant they hired a moron to write this show. Uh, it means for a start, we can't trust. Uh, uh, we can't trust that it worked successfully this time. Despite we're, okay, stop! Ooh, ooh, the reboot, the TARDIS didn't work. No, they just screwed up. Oh, so stupid. Ah, uh, worked successfully at uh, this time, despite looking like a shiny new TARDIS. Shiny new when they uh, leave Manchester to fly off onto a new adventure. It also means the Doctor can't uh, trust the TARDIS either. Not a great place to be given, uh, uh, given this uh, secrets of how it, uh, given the secrets of hides. Yeah, this fog watch. Who cares? We can't shake off the feeling that there's something wrong, and it might go beyond the events in Doctor Who flux with Carl from the man, woman who fell to earth making a surprise cameo. Who cared? Oh, uh, maybe we should be looking at the beginning of the 13th Doctor life when she was violently ejected from the ship and the whole new adventure began. Uh, try, I mean, that's a good way of uh, of, of uh, retconning this whole era away, isn't it? Right? Uh, um, it, it, like, like, yeah, it was some kind of fake incarnation that spat out <laughs> of the TARDIS uh, and they got some Earth stats TARDIS, I don't know. Is the universe still damaged by the flux? Okay, well, they're not going to answer that question because they don't know and they don't care because they're awful writers. One un unresolved uh, part of Doctor Who flux was whether, um, uh, whether or not the first flux event wiped out, which wiped out most of the universe, has been reversed. The, w that, if there was, they didn't say it, did they? Uh, the destruction of flux came as the at the expense of the hordes of Dalek, Simon, and Sontarans uh, in, uh, as their matter collided with antimatter. Strictly speaking, the Doctor is, the, uh, is solely responsible for the Sontaran casualties, but the Daleks blame her for their destruction. Well, she, well, it's kind of, I mean, it was a genocidal event. Oh, do I have the right? Icky for Padu! Oh, I have so much right, man, because I'm stunning and brave! Um, pe uh, periodic reboots are necessary in Doctor Who to realign the narrative world. I, I agree with, right? With their, uh, with their own. But it seems we weren't uh, quite there yet. There's still uh, The world is still ravaged by the forces unleashed by Tektuan and the Ravagers. Oh, ravage me. Uh, the Earth is, be is therefore... Uh, in vulnerable in, in a vulnerable position when it comes to alien event, it always was. I mean, like I, I, they don't normally have an army of dog people to surround the planet with it, it with super invulnerable ships for reasons. Um, plus, uh, the uh, uh, therefore vulnerable when it comes to alien invasion, the most habitable planet in the universe, the only habitable. It sounds like it at the end of it. Uh, if not the only one, or one uh, on the plus side, unless they have the ability to time travel, most of the potential invaders have massively depleted forces, including Daleks. Uh, yeah, they only got the five uh, uh, mentally retarded Daleks. So mentally handicapped Daleks left now. Uh, they can't. Uh, uh, all they can do is head a tiny executioner, uh, executioner squads off against their greatest enemy. Somewhere the, uh, then, Vinder and Bell are out there searching for the survivors of the Flux. Oh, who gives a great serpent stranded on a tiny asteroid. Again, another just dumb, dumb way of de dealing with this. 
When did uh, the Doctor ever defeat the Daleks with the Sonic? Was there a time? I can't. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Was there a time? Uh, um, I don't know. But God, look, just look how awful she is in this picture. It's unbelievable. Yeah, can you thump? I got my little Sonic screwdriver. When she first meets the da uh, the da first meets the Dalek, the Doctor confidently declares that she can jam its weaponry with the Sonic screwdriver. Saying so, so she and the Daleks agree, uh, she has done before. The Daleks have learned how to deal with the potential weakness. Uh, but the Doctor's eccentric little ga uh, gadget, once a symbol of peace, has been effectively turned into Dalekanium. Has it ever been? Uh, has uh, has it ever been able to kill a Dalek? Well, Sir McCoy didn't have the sonic screwdriver in remembrance of the Daleks. He had to build up the thing from Spyrodon. But uh, um, I can't remember a time. Sonic screwdriver has been waved around, uh, waved around more during the Chris Chibnall era uh, time as showrunner. Yeah, he treats it like a Harry Potter wand. As does Jodie Whittaker. Indeed, the only time we ever see the Sonic use a jam weaponry is in Resolution. The War Doctor and the Tenth Doctor uh, and the Eleventh Doctor destroy a Dalek inside the uh, Gallifrey Falls painting. Uh, but with the combined force of three Sonic screwdrivers, I don't remember that, but okay. But nowhere else has it been uh, uh, been so effectively uh, uh, be, uh, been so effective against the armor mutants, at least on screen. Even after the Daleks have learned to defend themselves against the Sonic, they still play a vital role in helping the Doctor defeat them. Once again, the Doctor uses it to bounce human life signals off the walls, something that she, uh, she calls Sonic Ventriloquism. <sighs> next time uh, next time they come back for the Doctor, they'll have found an answer that no, they won't. I, I, I'll just forget about it because nobody cares, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen. Have the Dalek guns been upgraded? Well, they look cool, but they can't penetrate anything, okay? Uh, ooh, uh. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> you know, that shouldn't make me laugh that much, but it really does. Uh, 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 after, the, after the much maligned par new paradigm Daleks, minor cosmetic upgrades have been the way forward. Christian Brothers tinkered a fair bit with their look, but most dramatically with their recon reconnaissance Daleks. Uh, the ones modeled after it, uh, Resolution, Revolution of the Daleks. But the lack of... Well, we're back to Brug Dalek. Oh, you know. Um, that have been so effective since the series was re uh, relaunched in 2005. The biggest invasion of the Daleks that may change to the weapon. Yes, we know. And now we're able to shoot multiple blasts at once. No, they go beep, 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 beep. Not like... Doesn't... Okay, fine, whatever. Um, it's still as useless as ever... Uh, and sometimes unable to uh, hit a moving target up close. Yeah, Dan, remember? Oh, God. Uh, to be fair, uh, it's... It, it's uh, uh, to be fair, it's a problem that isn't unique to the Daleks. And Tara and the Sidemen uh, were just as used with their aim in Doctor Who Flux. Yes, yes, it's called Chris Chibnall. Again, when you have a moronic hero who isn't heroic... You, the only thing she can battle are moronic villains, right? Uh, otherwise, I, I mean, I, the Dalek, most villains would just take out this Doctor without even blinking. Jim likes his purpose-made Dalek scouts, for example, and a lot, uh, a lot of these executioner squads are regular. Uh, are, uh, so the regular army are now doubt they're still decked out, but we saw uh, just as we saw in two thousand five. The effect of the of, de uh, of the death seems to be a classic one. Okay, well, yeah, death normally is, has the same effect. That means somebody's dead. And it would be fun to see something different with the ex... Oh, God, go away. Oh, so dumb. So dumb. Why should Sarah trust Nick? No reason whatsoever. No, I mean, like, she should run screaming. I, like... Yeah, okay, this weird, creepy guy had been in Caesar once a year and moons over her. Like, like... I, 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 it's like this. Okay, if you're a single person and you're looking to court a young lady, this is not the way to do it, right? This is not the way the way to do it. May I, may, may I recommend uh, recommend uh, uh, a combination of uh, personal strength and charm? <laughs> okay, that normally worked quite well for me. Uh, um, yeah, 
be interested in women as people, right? That normally works. Out. And don't be intimidated by uh, somebody being a lot more attractive than, than you. Uh, attractive than you. That 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 actually I found be very very successful, right? If you are confident enough to go up to like the uh, mo uh, most beautiful person in the room and start chatting them up, uh, uh, that that's a that is a turn on in of itself, right? Never show you're nervous. Okay, uh, uh, Nick does all the opposite of these things. Even if we overlook the unlikelihood of Sarah's story of business serving, surviving with just one customer. Yeah, God, that's weird. Uh, with the facility on the other side of the street, apparently uh, uh, getting all the trade there. Uh, I forgot about that completely. There's still a huge question of the, drama uh, of the dynamic that falls between her and Nick. Nick is a disturbing character, yes. If he's been betrayed as a misunderstood geek who uh, we are supposed to sympathize with, then Chibnall is simply feeding in unhelpful media portraits that fans are abnormal and socially awkward. Well, the problem is he is, right? I mean, you can really tell from his uh, 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 his lack of being able to, to interact and promote the... Uh, um, is Doctor Who, that he's so deeply, deeply socially awkward. That's why I thought the socially awkward line was a heroic one, where it, where it really wasn't, right? The, again, the trouble is with this Doctor is we're dealing with people who have no idea about what, heroi what heroism is. Uh, lovable or disturbed, but none, uh, nonetheless, his behaviour raises all kinds of red flags and was a success that Sarah's best of keeping uh, far, uh, far away from it, even if uh, he did save her life. With Yaz being a police officer, it's understandable she was the uh, she was the one to query the fate of Nick's past girlfriends. Uh, no, any sane person would do the same thing. But and how did he have past girlfriends? That made no sense, right? But the point here is not pursued, and it's strange to see Sarah, who is reluctant to trust the Doctor and her friends, so uh, so quickly fall for him. He fits the the mold of an uh, old friend in a Richard Curtis movie. Not the not uh, those kinds of story. Uh, not the hero of those kinds of stories. If Chimrel was wanting to subvert those stereotypes, then fair enough. But the script failed to do that. I did. You don't even say to do that. The script just failed, right? The script just failed. Did the TARDIS create the time loop? I never really thought of it before. Did it create the time loop? Uh, the Doctor thanks the Tardis for setting up the, a time loop to save... Uh, to get, uh, uh, oh, it did, apparently. Setting up the time loop that gave her a chance to defeat the Daleks. The Daleks, I will uh, say one more time, are so shit, couldn't open a door. Okay. Uh, but, she, uh, but, she do, uh, but she does so, not really know, not, not knowing for sure if the Tardis set, up, set it up on purpose. Uh, was it a, a temporary fault in work uh, in the workings while she re uh, while the reboot told uh, told hold what took hold maybe uh, if so uh, this adds the weight to our early speculation the tires might not be fully repaired uh, what's the stop it happening again the doc uh, the TARDIS has tried to save the doctor before uh, for instance uh, in her in her efforts to keep Clara out of the rings of Achatine. That was a terrible story, wasn't it? Uh, came came, came uh, complete with a Flash Gordon uh, uh, spe a speeder bike thing. Uh, so it was exactly the kind of thing that she would do. Uh, but why send her there in the first place, especially when the Doctor has chosen a destination uh, somewhere uh, uh, or, some, uh, or somewhere else entirely? That would have made, made a lot more sense. This might not just help the tar. That's uh, why I don't think the tar is playing up. This uh, another force could be, be at work behind the uh, uh, behind the scenes, similar to when Missy took control of the TARDIS in season ten, Empress of Mars. Uh, when the Doctor hid the fob watch inside the TARDIS, she unwittingly introduced something that. Oh God, they stop trying to read logic into nonsense, right? No, no, it's just a shit script written by an incompetent bumbling fool. Like, ooh, maybe it's just ooh. no. No, Chibnall's just a moron, okay? And, and, and I'm sorry, it's not me that's making these scripts unprofessional. That is Chris Chibnall, right? That's on him. The time that saved the Doctor, but even some of her enemies might have vested interest in keeping her alive. Uh, they might need si uh, something from her uh, or simply want to be the ones to, uh, to kill her. Okay, well, you know. 
Take, you know, uh, 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 line up. Oh, look, I love it when she does a stern face. Are you looking at the screen? Look at the screen. Yeah, so, ooh, I'm going to stop my little feet. Is ooh, oh, you're so stern, doctor. God, she's not. Uh, Chris Demmel likes the countdowns. Uh, likes the countdowns at 42. I thought 42 was a good idea because it was 42 minute long, it's real time, kind of fun. If anything to go by, he introduces a new one. He, he had countdown talks all the time. Yeah, it's his way of introducing urgency. Uh, one here is a variation of the time loop concept. Wherever, uh, whenever the, uh, the time resets, a minute is lost, adding to the urgency of the situation. It has a limited number of rewinds uh, beyond the uh, uh, beyond which the doctor's permanent uh, doctor's permanent death is assured. Oh, please, Jodie Whittaker's doctor had permanently died. Assure me of that. Uh, in the first round, Nick dies first, then, and Sarah is worried that he only has four rewinds before the next one. He'll be uh, he'll be uh, be already dead uh, at one point of the reset. Uh, he is able to stay alive uh, for the last minute because he's a, a because he's uh, because ducking uh, be, uh, by ducking uh, he changed the outcome of the previous uh, revolutions. Okay, I think we're calling it revolution. Okay, uh, uh, then uh, that make that much makes sense. Really, it didn't make sense when you wrote it, let alone when I watched it. Uh, what is clear is why the Doctor and Yaz and Dan do not appear to return to the basement uh, uh, a minute later each time. They keep going back to the moment before uh, they arrived in Manchester. Helpfully, the TARDIS uh, is a time machine, meaning that it can reset the... Uh, that on each reset, the TARDIS could have feasibly... A oh, God. See, this is a Chris Chibnall script. When you start thinking about it, you need to write reams... And reams and reams of fan fiction for even to make them at the vaguest bit of sense, right? It's it's unbelievable. Um, uh, helpfully, the TARDIS is a time blah blah blah. blah. As if somebody is placing pieces on the chessboard uh, to begin each scenario. Maybe it's uh, oh, I don't know what that, I say. I say, Vicar, what's that? Uh, what's my line? <laughs> uh, why was Cole from Sheffield there? Who gives a shit? Cole from Sheffield. I mean, it's hardly Ian Chester showing f***ing up, is it? Oh, it's Carl from Sheffield. Bloody hell. It, it, stop, stop the presses. It's Carl from Sheffield's back. Uh, yeah, if Chris Trimble is so deeply socially awkward, which he clearly is, right, why not hire somebody to be your press secretary, to, like, be the... Because oh, he's a moron. That's why, right? Why is Carl from Sheffield there? Who cares? Last scene in Sheffield, uh, when the Doctor's in from being a, a, a victim of the Stenza, Tim Shaw. Uh, he's never ever mentioned again, nor thought about. And uh, now he is watching the fireworks come out from the destroyed warehouse in Manchester. Uh, we're led to believe uh, he is alone, talking to himself. Uh, he's, uh, and uh, he looks either side to apparently see nobody else uh, watching the display. He jokes the pyrotechs are, are just for his benefit. But this could be aroused by Chris Chibnall. Really? No. Uh, he could be uh, uh, talking to somebody else at all. Uh, somebody from uh, Sheffield to Manchester. The coincidence... Oh, God, stop. 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 You, stop. Stop. Oh, you make my brain bloody hurt, mate. That's crazy. So who could he be talking with? Um, who cares? What is the doctor in love with Yaz? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't do love. No, no, I don't do love. <laughs> you have a good date, me. <laughs> and I'm, this is exactly what you're saying. <laughs> but I would. Oh, if I wasn't so shit scared of getting hurt. Oh, oh, I would scissor you in a second, Yasmin Khan. Oh, as, as is so common <coughs> in the Muslim fucking world. <coughs> really? Oh, go away. Go away. Uh, will the doctor be back for uh, uh, be back for the thirteenth? Yes, in the in the final in uh, whatever it's called. They don't even they don't even have the name of it yet. They, there was a rumor it was called Dry, right? Uh, from the Coldplay song. Ah, uh, could be. 
<laughs> the other one was called The Lives of the Doctor. We don't know the name because it could be a spoiler. And we don't want to spoil people because people might come and watch it. I mean, like, really? I mean, here's a question for you. After you fuck up everything... Is that the time to keep going going with your instincts, right? I follow my instincts every step of the way and everything I've done has been wrong, right? Everything I've done has been wrong. And it's been fair and it's failed completely. I think I should do a bit more of that. Oh yeah, absolutely a bit more of that. Well, you know, that is the entertainment industry in 2022. A strange and bizarre place. My name is Sila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little I'll ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!